Welcome to the latest and greatest installment in the Prince of Persia series, a game that I have been waiting for. Rogue Prince of Persia. This is a 2D action platforming roguelite, which mixes old and new. Brought to us by Evil Empire, former Dead Cells developers. Shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring today's episode. A link to this game will be in the description down below, where you can pick it up early access starting May 27th for $19.99 US. Huge note, Ubisoft Connect is not required to play this game. Playing through this game, I really got the feel of the original 2D side-scrolling Prince of Persia's, mixed with the fast-paced combat and acrobatics that we know and love from Sands of Time. The reason I said I was waiting for this game is because the Prince of Persia's ability to rewind time really lends itself to the idea of a roguelike. In this game, you play the prince, blinded by his determination and desire to prove his worth as a future king. He holds a mystical bola with exceptional powers. It gives him the unique ability to go back in time when he comes close to death. In this game, the Huns take over, capture Persia, the prince falls and wakes up at this camp where we start our time loop. The introduction of the game brings us through the basic moveset, melee attacks, ranged attacks, wall riding and jumping, and it brings us through the devastation that the Huns have caused on our homeland. We breeze through the beginning, kicking and stabbing our way all the way through a couple of biomes. I was definitely able to notice similarities from this game two dead cells and the fact that it feels like a metroidvania turned into a roguelite there's also a similar system of upgrading new weapons that you may find out and about pretty good system i think that lends itself to trying a bunch of new weapons finally we reach the first boss where not knowing any of the attack patterns we of course got absolutely smooshed and we woke up once again at the same base camp. All right, let's go. I think I've got the controls down now. Start off with, what is this? Weapon. Never seen this type of medallion before. Upgrades. Hmm. I feel a great power resonating within. When kicking an enemy spreads resin. Sticky kick. Medallions. Medallions are powerful items that can trigger various effects depending on the prince's situation and actions. Medallions can be found in various chests and shops in the forms of collectibles and as rewards for defeating bosses. Looks like we got uh, maybe four slots, but I can only put it in these three for some reason. No, I can put it in all four. Okay, there's my sticky resin. All right, so we got to be kicking, kick build. Try it out. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. That was even larger of an area. Do they get like decreased attack speed and stuff or is it just, I don't know, ranged attack. Chakram or the bow? I think the difference here is that the Chakram has piercing, whereas the bow just hits one target. Maybe I should use that more. That seemed pretty good. Resin for you, resin for you. Is the house I can go in? Oh, special treasure, okay. Better Chakram, yep, level three instead of level two. Ooh, kicked him right off. Oh, look at these guys waiting to ambush on the perch. Surprise. Oh, that didn't work at all. Okay, he's not really waiting to ambush. So what do I gotta do then just <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Okay, bye. Kick for you. Okay, you just get near him and he hits you. That's for you. Hello, my prince. Azeda? What are you doing here? You didn't really think I'd abandon my village so quickly, my prince. But the Huns. I can defend myself and the hunt camp doesn't scare me. I've got everything I need with me. You should still be careful, Azeda. I'll protect what we build to the death if need be. I'll do my best not to let it come to that. The hunt camp? I was held prisoner there until Sukra freed me. Han war camp, new location unlocked. Okay, so talk to people and you can unlock new paths. Interesting. Kicking removes shields, even if you kick somebody into another person that has the shield. A shame that I can't do that downward strike, though, to get these guys. Kick is really good. You missed. Goodbye. So we made it to the boss last time, and we got absolutely smooshed. We got medallions now, though. Inflict plus 50% more damage to shielded enemies. Each time you break a shield, restore 25 energy points, restore 25 additional energy points. Uh, one star, two star. Don't know what that means. Maybe I can find the shield breaker again. Upgrading medallions. You can use any medallion to upgrade your currently equipped medallions. These upgrades are represented by a green arrow icon. You can replace one equipped medallion with another. However, any upgrades linked to this medallion will be destroyed along with the medallion itself. Okay, so you can 
choose not to upgrade, but replace. Trying to figure out what I'm looking at here. It looks like if I place it here, I also upgrade my first one. And if I place it here, I upgrade the last two or, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what that all means. Let's put it here. Buy some health. Oh, I got to a secret little medallion. Vampiric Demise. Restore 30 energy points each time an enemy is killed. So if I put it here, then I also upgrade the the shield breaker. If I put it here, I gain both of the upgrades from the medallions to the left and right, I think. So I also restore 10 health points every time I kill an enemy. That sounds pretty good. 1,000 health points total. So it's not a whole lot, but it's not nothing. If I play well, I'll be able to regen my health. Won't help me, though, in a boss fight that doesn't spawn any ads. What is this thing? Bloody spoils. It's jumping around. Each time an enemy is killed, gain coins. So if I put it here, I actually upgrade my vampiric demise to level three. But this one stays at level one. Level four royal sword too. Let's take it. I went inside this house. It looks like it's a trap room. Oh boy, my favorite. Can I get up there? Ow. Um, can I? Ooh, yeah. Oh, trying to figure out how to do Oh, there's a little pole there. I can see that. This one's like I gotta just jump too. This one I can jump, then wall ride, then jump up. Okay, come on, do better. Ooh, close. Probably gonna get a medallion at the end of this, if I live. Ah! Heal, I gotta use my heal. Wall right up. Dude, 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 you gotta jump up the wall, man! You gotta jump up the wall, man! Ah! There we go. Yikes. Grab onto that. I can see the medallion over there. It looks like maybe the same one that I already have. The resin. Hmm, let's see here. We gotta jump over and wall right up. Jump, there we go. Uh, jump, wall ride. Grab, repeat, rinse, repeat. Come on, grab the wall, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got it. Super chest, flaming shield breaker. The same one that I have? No, I have just the normal shield breaker. So if I go ahead and replace it, I actually downgrade my sticky kick. And if I replace my vampiric demise, then I upgrade my sticky kick, but downgrade my shield breaker. Yeah, I'm still not sure what is going on here. How do I use this to um, to upgrade another trinket? So I'll just replace that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still uh, confused as to what's going on, but hopefully we'll figure it out. And there was a, 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 a medallion like right here. Yeah, there we go. Sticky dive instead of the sticky kick. Kind of like sticky kick. I, I like all the stuff that we got going on, so I'm just gonna say no to it. Start killing enemies and getting my health back, please. Another free medallion here. Toxic shock. When a kicked enemy hits an obstacle, restore 30 energy points and release a cloud of poison at level one. And if I replace my sticky kick, then I actually get level three flaming shield breaker, which says it sets fire to the area when I kick somebody, when I break a shield. Um, we'll try it. Another upgrade already. What a strange glimmer. Seems to be connected to the Huns. Oh, is that a special currency? Five purple goose? What's this? Spirit glimmers. Function. You can spend spirit glimmers at the oasis to unlock new items that you can use in future attempts. When going through levels, you can obtain spirit glimmers either in the form of collectibles or when they are dropped by defeated enemies. Is that- I just banked it? Looks like I just banked it. Secret area? Up here? Oh yeah. Love a game with some secrets in it. That guy just jumped into some spikes. I mean, these bugs are getting me. They're very weak, but they're flying, so they're kind of hard to get to. Oh, that was a nice little one-two kick. Mm, shield breaker, go! We set fire to the area. It's working. We're also healing on kills. Kick. Hey, you should have been kicked. There we go. There we go. Ow, I tried to kick him, but I, I guess you can't kick somebody with a shield. Ouch! I was trying to kick him against the wall to get the thing with the stuff. When a kicked enemy hits an obstacle, restore 30 energy points. I don't need the energy points, really, but to be maybe using my chakram a little bit more. What's this? Oh, we've seen this before. Sacrifice health points. Yeah, I can't really do that right now. Looks like I tried to... I, I did break a shield in the water, but it's water, so I did not set fire to the area. Sticky kick. Well, this is awkward because I got rid of my last sticky kick. So if I look at the sticky kick, I can see that there is one circle and then an upgrade circle next to it. So I think it's saying that whatever is to the right 
of that medallion will be upgraded. Yeah, like the bloody spoils upgraded two medallions to the left and the toxic shock upgraded two medallions to the right. This one upgraded to the right, that one upgraded to the left. That means that the two middle ones are upgraded. Yeah, it's a interesting upgrade system. I suppose that I could sacrifice some health now that I just got some heals. A level seven Tabar. Haven't used the ax much. Very powerful though. Right into the spikes. My bad. Can I upgrade this even further? Twice? Level 10? That's level 9 right now. 161 DPS. Restorative Dream Fragment. Restore 60 health points when discovering a new well of dreams. Hmm. Seems cool, but healing upon breaking shields and killing enemies, probably better. Toxic Projectile. Striking a foe from afar releases a cloud of poison at level 1. But see, if I put it here, it'll be level 0. Pass. Yikes, get out of there. Chakram. Use all your chakrams. Because of all my upgrades, I'm pretty much getting the energy right back for the chakram, so. Nice. Gotta be boss time soon, no? Didn't even need the healing. So good I am. All right, boss. What do you got? You, you fell. Wait, he remembers? At that time, rewound. Why is it so important I fall into your trap? You should have never escaped from our camp. Oh, true, they did capture us before. That's probably what he's referencing. How about Chakram? Oh, okay, yep. You gotta watch out for the, the strikey strikes. Kick the rock into him. Oh, I got rid of his shield already? Okay, I might just wave more powerful right now or can get the other rock into him. Oh, I missed that one. He's all mad and stuff now. Oh, oh, yep, oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, I tried to dash through that. I don't know if you get iframes on dashes. We're halfway. Shakram on, on everything. Heals. He's got a shield himself? Don't know what that's about. He's got a shield back. Okay, can I get rid of that with that? Yes, I can. Ooh, and we set the ground on fire. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, wow. Remember the shock waves. Okay, you can't just jump over them. You gotta do the wall right over them. Go Shakram, go Shakram. Okay, try to dash through that, didn't work. No, I didn't mean to break that. Kick it, there we go. Stun him, get him, get him now, get him now. Get greedy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Who on earth are you, General Berud? Poof. We're like, who were you? Am I right? Oh, my Tabar is still better than the weapons we're getting from the boss. That's a pretty nice chakram, though. Health insurance. Restore 0.5 health points when you spend gold. I'm assuming 0.5 health points per gold spent. Because 0.5 health points out of 1,000 doesn't... That would have to take place of my toxic shock. Do it. Barud's gauntlet. Leap forward and smash the ground instead of my chakram. Well, I'll try. A one time use, okay. That's pretty cool. Probably high damage, though. Better be worth it. And on to a biome that I've never seen before Tower of Oblivion. The Huns are using their shaman magic at our sacred monument. They'll stop at nothing. Not even the dead are safe. What's this? Ahura Mazda, who fights evil. If I want to be king, that's what I'll have to live up to. Hello? What kind of enemies await me here? I shouldn't have used my gauntlet. I should have saved it. That guy's got a spear. He's probably got some high range. Get that bug first. Oh, he's got an upward attack. Got it. Oh, that was my face. Sir! Oh, we're getting uh, purpley. I think I missed something up there. Um, I can fast travel later. If I get to another well, I'll be able to do that. Yikes. Here we go. Fast travel back up to here. It was just across this gap and, and down. I didn't drop down here. I think there's a secret. Yes, there was. Uh-oh. What's that doing? Just a ranged attack? Okay. Okay, you can't get iframes to dash. I just need to stop tr trying to do that. Trying to dash through things. Fist! Boom, baby. Oh, gosh. Not knowing that I'm not gonna stun lock them is, is hurting me bad. I missed some sort of door over there. Is that important to go to? Probably. Very, uh, Metroidvania style roguelike. It's really interesting playing this after playing Lost Crown. Oh, I didn't want to jump up into the wall. All right, door, what do you have for me? Hopefully a well to heal. Nope, only pain. Ah! There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glide down, glide down. Be careful. Grab the wall, maybe? Just an idea? Nope, don't wall ride? Okay. Oh, wow, we are close to death. I don't want to die in a trap room, please. 
made it. New equipment. You will come across equipment chests during your attempts. These contain new equipment, which once found can be crafted at the Oasis. What's this? Falcata. Each strike with a Falcata increases its damage by 10% for three seconds, can stack up to 30 times. Special attack, unleash a combo of slicing attacks. Well, it's not as good as my uh, Tabar, but we gotta try the new thing out, right? For whatever life I have remaining. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta get better finessing that. Not gonna take any of these new weapons. Too bad I can't trade them for health. Uh, this thing, I can bank my stuff before I die. Nice. 100 health left. These guys scare me. Let's try to pounce and stun both of them. And then even kick them into each other to, to double stun. There we go. Slam. Up to 300 health just from killing. Gardens. Um, I didn't explore all the way to the left. I should probably do that before we go to an even tougher biome. Slam them. I missed him. Ah, I got myself in trouble there. That's what I did. Darn you slams getting me screwed. Oh, be careful here. I don't have the health to sacrifice for you. I'm sorry. You, but you can sacrifice 108 out of 109. Sure. Okay. I had no idea what that guy was going to do and we died. Why didn't my bullet take me back to before the Huns invaded? That would have made things so much easier. All right, you guys. This has been our first look at the rogue Prince of Persia. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget, there's a link in the description down below where you can check the game out yourself. Early access starting May 27th for $19.99 US. Once again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.